Multi-species ward is a combination of two or more species sewn together in order to increase productivity versus when sewn individually. It normally consists of three different groups, uh, grasses, you have legumes and herbs. So grasses can include perennial ryegrass um, and meadow fescues and timothy. And legumes can include red and white clover and uh, herbs can include plantain and chicory. And there's many benefits of um, multi-species wards. It increases soil structure, um, can uh, maintain production and dry matter yield in, in cows and animal production systems and also the main uh, benefit is to reduce the nitrate reduction and nitrate leaching. Just in terms of plantain, it's highly palatable and digestible. Um, it has a tap root which works well in drought. It's high in minerals and micro -mineral, micronutrients. Um, it works well in poor fertility soils and um, it works, it's robust in intensive grazing systems. Uh, just in terms of chicory, it's a high protein, low dry matter and low fibre um, forage. Again, it has a, a nice deep tap root, it works well in drought situations. It has a higher growing point, it only should be grazed to six centimetres. Um, it's more susceptible to damage in wetter weather and if you, gra and if you graze down lower. It's more suited to high fertility soils and should be sown in increasing soil temperatures. So just in terms of establishment of multi-species ward, it, the most important point is to sort weeds first before um, sown because you can't use any chemical uh, after sowing. So it's important to spray off any docks or any weeds that are in the field first, maybe spray, then graze and then burn off the field. And uh, soil index is soil index in terms of P and K and, and soil pH is very important um, to sort before uh, establishment. And after that it's just establishing a normal grass seed sowed at about 14 kgs to the acre. In terms of management of a multi-species ward, it has the ability to maintain a 20 to 23 day rotation with less nitrogen inputs. It should be grazed to 6 cm versus 4 cm, so this might mean adjusting the pre-grazing yield. Um, and it has the ability to be cut for silage. It's just a lower dry matter sward, so it should be allowed to wilt for longer. Plantain and chicory um, can seed out in year two, so that may mean topping. It's very important to maintain ground cover to keep out weeds so that the plantain and chicory and other crops keep out um, light into the so that no docks are allowed into it. And there is questions still about spring grazing and the ability to, uh, to handle poaching in, in wetter weather. Just in terms of fertilizer applications for a multi-species ward, as I said, lime, P and K must be right before uh, application. So clover, red and white clover doesn't have the ability to fix nitrogen until year two. So the grasses may need um, some nitrogen applications and uh, nitrogen is needed in spring each year as red and white clover will not grow till nine degrees Celsius. So it can be a bit more open and need nitrogen applications in springtime. Roughly about 50 units of nitrogen will be needed in the spring each year. Um, and then reduced, uh, no nitrogen applications will be needed from, from then onwards. So just some limitations of the multi-species sward. It generally lasts three to five years, but after that you're left with a grass and red and white clover sward. Um, the multi-species in terms of plantain and chicory can be over at that point. And um, the trial work in UCD and Tagus are in its early days and the results will come to fore over the coming years. For more information, contact your local Glambay Ireland representative, your branch, or visit glambayconnect.com.